Hello everyone, this is Chad with Good Creative Tutorial. Today I'm going to go over the patch tool. It can be a pretty effective tool when you want to take a large group of pixels and move them to somewhere else to pull from so that you're taking a large uh, area of pixels and copying them over to another area instead of using, for example, the clone stamp tool which take a little bit longer than the patch tool. When you're dealing with portrait photography, touch-ups, you could try the spot healing brush tool, healing brush tool, even the clone stamp and patch tool to an extent but the patch tool is really effective uh, when you're selecting a large area of pixels to modify. So go ahead and open up a photo and then if you press J on the keyboard or just click and hold onto the spot healing brush tool it should pull out this fly out menu here and then if you select the patch tool uh, what this does by default up at the top it should say normal and then source and then transparent should be unchecked. So what this does is if I just click and drag around this area here this umbrella if I just wanted to have sand there and you can use any of the selection tools you can use the polygonal lasso tool you can use some of the shape selection tools you can use uh, the quick selection tool any of those and once you've made a selection just select the patch tool again but if you use the patch tool to select it's just gonna act just like the lasso tool so once you have a selection here I'm gonna click and drag this onto an area I want to uh, pull from all right, and you notice I've made a too large of a selection on the one side because it's going off the edge. What you can do, hit cancel there, is these tools up here, upper left hand corner, there's add to selection, subtract from the selection, intersect with selection. There, there are keyboard shortcuts. If I hold down alt, that's subtracting from the selection. So I can just click and drag, make this a little bit skinnier selection so it will fit there. If I hold down shift, then it would add to the selection. All right. So now that I got that, uh, you can click and drag it over. Something like so. And it's going to pull from here onto here. All right, so it pulled the pixels from our destination area back onto the source area. And it tries to kind of feather or uh, blur the edges a little bit so it's more subtle. And you can do this multiple times. Say you have an area right here, you want to pull area from over here, it's going to pull from this new area to the old area. All right, so that worked in this context. The opposite of that is, let's say you want to du duplicate something. So if you have the patch tool selected, and if you click and drag, there's a photo I took at work one day, <laughs> um, instead of source, click on destination. And if you click and drag that over, it, instead of pulling pixels from this new area back onto the original area, it's going to do the opposite. It's going to take these pixels that we initially had selected and move them onto the new area. So it's kind of like duplicating it, but it has a nice soft edge so it blends in a little bit better. All right. Now when you do that, uh, the next option is transparent. What transparent is, is it makes it blend in a little bit more with the original background. So if I have transparent selection, I drag it over say right here and let go. It's not going to be completely pulled from here. It's going to pull from here, but then it's going to blend in a little bit more with the background as well. All right, so that's a transparent check mark. Uh, use pattern, you could try uh, when you do a selection. You know, if you click use pattern, it's going to use a pattern with the patch tool, but I haven't found it to be too useful. Maybe when you're doing digital art or some kind of special effect, uh, it might be helpful, but I haven't ha found too much use for uh, the use pattern effect in this context. All right, so that's um, the patch tool. Now that's under normal mode. If you go ahead and select content aware mode, uh, this is a little bit different. When we're doing this, you know, you could do a normal content aware. Let's say I took the lasso tool and I just click around this little bush plant thing and then I go to edit fill and then content aware for use the problem is it's so close to those trees there it's gonna pull some of those trees in and think it needs to be part of the new uh, area so what we can do with the patch tool content aware is we can take it and tell Photoshop look use this area to sample from instead of just the immediate area around 
the selection. So you can pull it way over here, for example, even something like that, and it'll pull it over. And on adaption, medium is kind of a, a middle ground. And again, I can do this again here. Drag that over there. Uh, if you do strict, very strict, it's going to use a lot of the area that you're pulling uh, with not much leeway. If you do very loose, it's going to blend in a lot more, uh, depending on your photo. Uh, some might be better for, uh, some photos might work better with very strict, very loose, depending on the area around that you're selecting. All right, so that's the patch tool. It can be pretty effective, again, when you want to select a big area and pull from another area to uh, replace it. For example, this area right here, click and drag it over. It's going to pull it over. Instead of just a straight copy with a blurred edge, content aware mode makes it blend in a lot more nicely. So now we don't have uh, that streak of cloud there. You just have a blue sky. So that's the patch tool. Be sure to subscribe for more Photoshop tutorials. We'll see you next time. <laughs>